YouTube, thanks so much for clicking to watch this video. Today we are talking about reasons why sorority members may not pick you. And to be honest, some of these might be a little extreme, but they do tend to happen. So I just want to give you guys some do's and don'ts, kind of some what not to do tricks or things that might get you in trouble. Just a heads up for you guys so that you're aware of what you should and shouldn't be doing or things that you can work on to help get you into the organization of your dreams. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Before I start this video, I did want to take a moment to say hi to Caleb. Hi, Caleb, and shout him out. I met Caleb at work the other day, and he mentioned that he saw me on my YouTube channel, and I told him I would shout him out. So hi, Caleb. How are you? Thank you so much for watching my video, and, and keep watching. Let's talk about things that are like aesthetics and then we'll talk about like things that don't necessarily belong on paper that we look for anyways that might get you in trouble first things first i think that one thing that we pay attention to when we are looking at aspiring members is their gpa this is once you get to this is like once you get past informal and you're invited to formal this is the part where we'll pay attention to things that could or couldn't get you in necessarily so let's say you've gotten past informal and that you're now in the formal stage and some things that may hurt you in the application process one thing that might hurt you would be a low gpa we are a academic organization all of us are we're all academic organizations and we are looking at your gpa so if you have a low gpa and you do not meet the minimum requirement of the gpa you might not be able to get in some organizations will ask you for your gpa at informal some will ask for your gpa at formal it just depends on what chapter you're looking at i know some people who've gotten through to their formal application and their GPA wasn't low enough and they didn't get in. So make sure, make sure, make sure that you go above and beyond the GPA requirements so that it is not something that will hinder you from getting in. Next thing that we look at aesthetically, we'll look at your community service hours. If you guys have not heard me talk about community service before, community service is very, very, very important. Make sure that if you are talking to the organization that you're talking to the chapter that you know the minimum community service hours that they require some chapters do not have a minimum however as a good rule of thumb i always recommend that people have anywhere between 10 to 50 hours of community service 50 hours might be reaching too high but if you enjoy doing community service you should have no problem getting 50 community hours if not if you're not that strong of a community service person try to have anywhere between 10 to 20 hours prior to you applying so that that'll be shown on your um, application when you submit it or on your resume when you submit it. Which brings me to my next point, your resume. Poorly written resumes will prevent you from getting into the organization. We look at these things. These organizations are also businesses. So we are looking at how you do your resume. We are looking at the format. We're looking at the verbiage. We're looking at your experience. We pay attention to all these things prior to allowing you admittance so make sure that you are writing really really well written resumes make sure someone's looking over your resumes and make sure that you are meeting the criteria as needed with the resume we are also looking at your experiences you don't have to be a super experienced person to join an organization however we are looking at your experiences as a person as a student as someone that we would want to join our organization really well written resumes will explain whatever experiences you have if you guys and the assistance on how to write resumes please take a look at one of my previous videos talking about resumes and recommendation letters and sorority letters so make sure that you're paying attention to those things and that you refer to those videos for future help the last thing that we look at is the application itself with your application we are checking to make sure that you have every page filled out when we say fill out the entire application, we mean fill out the entire application. Some people will require you to do your application while you're there at formal. Sometimes um, you can uh, take it home and, and bring it back. It just depends on the criteria of the organization. So if that's the case, then if you're allowed to take it home, or even if you have to sit there and do it, please make sure that you read every single page of the application front and back top to bottom make sure that you're reading it and make sure that you are answering the questions as needed don't leave anything blank unless it's allowed to or you can put in a make sure that you're paying attention to the things that are written in the application because anything that is incomplete will result in your application not being submitted and it will result in a rejection letter 
we act like it's not a big deal when we do the applications because we want you guys to be comfortable but it is a really 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 big deal when you guys are filling out your applications that you fill them out as we're telling you to you have to make sure that every page is filled out you have to follow the instructions because this is these are the things that are going to be sent to national headquarters where other people are going to look at them make sure everything's filled out if something's not filled out it will come back to us and we can either be like never mind we don't want this person or we have to reach back out to you and be like hey you missed these pages get them back to us ASAP because it's a process it's a timeline we have to get these things done as quickly as possible and it's and as efficiently as possible now that we got the paperwork reasons out of the way here's some non-traditional ways that we look at people to determine whether or not we are going to pick you one of the things being poor interviews if you guys have never watched any video that I've ever 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 posted make sure that you watch the video on how to survive interviews it will save your life also, make sure that you watch all the other videos that I posted about things you shouldn't say to your DP. But I say that to say people who interview poorly will not get into the organization. Make sure that you speak very well. Make sure that you avoid verbal pauses. I know I do verbal pauses a lot. That's a flaw of mine. I'm still working on that. But be sure when I do interviews, I make sure that I do not participate in verbal pauses. However, you always want to make sure that you speak well. If you need help with doing interviews, ask a friend or ask a family member to coach you on that because it'll make all the difference in the world. Next thing that you don't want to do in opposition to that is being too scripted. We do not like people who sit and have like this like cookie cutter attitude. We do not like those people. It makes us feel like something is off about you. We feel like you're hiding something. So try to be as genuine as possible in your interview. Try to be yourself. Try to answer the questions to the best of your ability. And if you don't know the answer, be honest. Say you don't know the answer. But do not be too scripted. Do not allow yourself to be coached so well that we're not able to see who you truly are because that will raise a flag for us and we will wonder why we should pick you. The other reason why some organizations might not pick you is because we actually just don't know anything about you and that could end up hurting you in the long run. Um, I do have some reputation videos out there if you guys want to take a look but your reputation is everything especially when you're joining Greek Life. If we don't know you and we don't know anything about you that could also raise a red flag because we don't really know what you can offer us because we don't know anything about you but don't let that scare you because I also have some videos out on how to get to know the organization if you're new so work on those things because it's good to have some kind of relationship with members of the chapter that you're planning on joining like don't be brand spanking new they don't know you you don't know them and yet you're trying to join you should already be working on building a relationship and they should know something about you more than nothing about you the last and final thing that I think hurts people a lot when they want to join organizations and they don't get picked is reputation in general. Some people's reputations are too well known. Sometimes we know a little too much about you and we therefore do not want you because we know all these things about you. And they could be good things but there could also be bad things. That's why I say reputation is very important when you're looking to join an organization because if we know too much about you then that might not be a good thing. Like you might stick out like a sore thumb because we know that much. However, we might know too much about you in a good way too, but I'm just saying majority of the time, we the reasons why we don't pick you is because we know too many bad things about you and we don't want that to be something that we bring to our organization. That's why I think interviewing is so important because you get that face-to-face -face interaction with people and some people in chapter might know something that you don't and then by the time you finish the interview and we all come together, that's when the secrets come out. Like that's when the information about other people comes out. So. Make sure that you're avoiding these things when you're looking to join an organization. Polish up your resume, polish up your your speech, and polish up the way that you behave on campus because these things will help you more than hurt you in life if you're looking to join an organization. Some of you who've already been through interviews, if you know what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up or even put your experiences down below for other people. I hope that you guys found this information helpful. And if you have more questions for me, feel free to ask me. You're more than welcome to follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, or even comment below and let me know what kind of questions you have and what kind of videos you want to see. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next sorority video. Bye.